You just love everything about car audio, don't you, girl? Playing with the recone packaging? Huh? Playing with that recone package? Ah, you're so cute! Hey, what's going on, you two of this? EXO, just chilling here, listening to some Rodney Wilson on SoundCloud. Really like his stuff there. Got some questions about it in the last video. But uh, what are we looking at right here? What in the world is all this? Well, actually, guys, I came across a little Parts Express link. Close out prices, and I took full advantage. These guys were like 99 cents, $2, and then these guys are about 5 bucks each. We're going to have six of these in each tower, and then three of each of these in each tower. I still have a lot more mathematics to do. I've been doing it over here. I had to cross some stuff out because I'm still doing some final calculations here. But it looks like we're going to be running the tweeters at 8 ohm, and these at roughly between 4 and 5 ohm. I'm just going to say 4 ohm. Um, I'm going to be making my own crossovers. That's what all that math is right there. It's really interesting stuff. I'm going through it all for the first time, so I'm not going to really post tutorial videos on it. I might post like update videos and build videos on it, but since I'm learning everything for the first time myself, I'm not going to like try to make an in-depth tutorial on it. But I'm really impressed with these speakers. I wired them all up with my banana clips over here just to make sure everything's going to be wired correctly in the end. And uh, w w when we're making the crossovers here, I, all we got to really have is like a piece of pine board or they make a little prefab uh, crossover boards that you can solder in your different components in. I'm going to be making my own from scratch, so I'll probably just be using a piece of pine board and some hot glue, which I watched on the Parts Express site. Pretty easy to do. All you need is a hot glue gun right here and then my uh, soldering station right here, which was only 16 bucks. Really happy with that. So this is just a little kind of introduction clip to what's going on. These are five and a quarters. They're Peerless Indias, really great. Uh, FS of like 70 hertz. They take around 30 watts. 3.5 millimeters of X-Max. This was actually a whole millimeter more than the other uh, versions. And I actually went back to the website today and these are gone. There's no more of them. Uh, I'll, I'll throw up the link in the description just in case, but I'm really impressed with the uh, build quality of these for being so cheap. Pretty damn awesome. One inch coils, nice little sp spider there, and the whole assembly is just really solid. This is actually hard metal right here. It's not the cone. The paper cone is on the other side. So you can actually have your, uh, your mid-base woofers and your actual woofers be completely isolated from affecting this. The same goes for this one right here, which actually comes with like a little 5 watt resistor right there. A little 2 ohm 5 watt resistor. I'm going to be having to incorporate some of that into these as well on the crossover. Uh, I've been watching the tri tricks. I think that's how you say it, tutorial videos. And if you guys know anything about that, or if you've actually done one, I, I, I kind of want a little bit of suggestions, really. I don't know if I should put all six of these in the tower, because, and I've also been looking up lobing and like uh, asymmetrical radiation, which means having your tweeter slightly offset. It's really interesting stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know, because I'm, I'm still learning about all this stuff. Um, it's really, really interesting. I've been doing research all the time. But the confusing part is that on the website, it says that they can actually perform really well in an enclosure all by itself at 0 0.75 cubes. So three quarters of a cube for just one of these. And that's, that's a lot. And then these guys are, I believe, 30 watts each. So I'm going to wire in these in the series uh, and then bringing them together and that is about 8 ohms. Also one little final suggestion I'd like from this video is do you guys think I should have a whole separate system for the subwoofer? Like instead of having like uh, these guys be designated for the bass frequencies maybe just chuck in like one small subwoofer at the bottom or two small isobaric, I don't know, whatever I can use the most space saving design with. What do you guys think I should do? Um, because these do, these do have quite a lot of excursion, and I've read a lot that they do sound good as a little, like a midwoofer. Um, somebody put it in their Logitech cabinet, and they were playing notes all the way down to 30 hertz. On their review, they said it sounded good. So, I'm, I'm really confused on whether I should even designate these for those frequencies, or just totally cross them over at a different point, and rely on a different set of drivers or driver at the bottom to do the bass frequencies. What do you guys think? It'll cost a little more money and it will change my crossover a little bit because 
I'm doing everything um, all connected together. So in the end, it should all be four ohms at the speaker terminal. The 12 volt stuff kind of, I, that was just for fun and I don't really plan on leaving that in here. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna have a new house amplifier and a nice set of towers. Uh, you know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Maybe do some cabinets, maybe s split these figures up and do two cabinets, a center, and then a couple towers. Like, uh, that's, that's really what I'm looking for, It's just some suggestions. Got some Cultivator. Maybe we can do a little bit of bass in this video since we got this stuff all ready to go over here. Let's see, let's see. Let's do a little bit of bass. Holy shit! It ain't it. I gotta grab it. That's not bad, huh? Woo! That's awesome. I love bass. I cannot believe it. Surplus store gem right here. Oh god. Oh god, that's gone. Sorry. Look at that. Rockford 5 8 man. That's crazy. What a beautiful amp. I've never seen one of these up close and personal like this. Oh man. But they know what they got them themselves. They know what they got. 222 bucks. It's still a good a good deal for a four channel like of this caliber. I, I'd buy it. Isn't that crazy? Man. <laughs> Yeah, we're just browsing here, YouTube. We got a beautiful Rockford amp just chilling on the countertops with a bunch of crappy sunglasses. <laughs> that is classic. I just had to share this with you. Just had to do it, so I chucked on the camera. But beautiful amplifier. Oh, God. No wonder why uh, all the top-notch guys really like these, but they're expensive. I would run them, too, if I could afford it. Nice four-channel. Oh, man. Haha, <laughs> 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 little guru. You're so cute. Yes, hey, be careful there. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I swear, I love cats. I, 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 I just can't get enough of them. I could stare at them all day and just have fun with it. You know what, I think I just wanna post a video of my cat. I have some random videos I think I just want to throw up there. Hey! She was chilling in the sub box. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Love you. <laughs> yeah, she's just the greatest cat ever. If you have a cat, click a big fat thumbs up for feline friendliness. Ha! We got our games pretty much all set up here. I had my O-scope set up earlier. Uh, the reason why I didn't get it on film is because I, I wanted to listen to some music while I was doing it, and if I was filming it, I, it would get copyright and stuff like that. So I listened to some cool jams, got the shit done, and everything's looking great in here, guys. I am I am absolutely thrilled. Uh, how about one more, just one little crank or one little more excursion clip? Let's do that same song because the 24 hertz is is perfect frequency for for neighbors and stuff. It still gets some good bass for our ears, but. It doesn't travel as far, so let's crank up the volume. Oh, 